بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اعزائي طلبه وطلبات شهاده الثانويه العامه قسم مديريات اللغات السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته اليوم سنتطرق الى اكسرسايز اوف ايكوليبريم اور جنرال ايكوليبريم as a first look at my dear students the first example we have in the opposite figure the opposite parallel forces equivalent to a cup. Magnitude of this couple, it's moment 28 unit. Then, what is the value of X? Look at, my dear student, we have distance between AB 2 cm and between H and D 1 cm, D and C 4 cm. We have five forces. Three forces up, two forces down. Three forces represent three newton act at H, seven act at C, five acts at A. Also, six newton acts at point B, F point at point D. My dear student, the moment at D equals 28. What is the moment of D? Look at, we have two direction of moment. Positive, when the force act on anti-clockwise, negative when the force acts in clockwise. Seven times four. Look at seven. Rotate around, around point D and anti-clockwise. Seven times four. Six Newton, which acts at B, distance between B and D, X plus 4. Then negative 6 times X plus 4 inside bracket. Also, the force 5 acts at point A, and the distance between A and D equals 6 plus X. Therefore, the moment 5 times bracket, 6 times uh, 6 plus X. Negative 3, look at times 1. Why? Because the distance between H and D equals 1. This moment must be equals to 28. Then the force, look at the force F which acts at point D has no moment. Why? Because this acts at point D. Therefore, from this equation, we calculate the value of X equals 3 centimeter. Don't forget, my dear student, the value of X, this is Value equals 3 cm. Why? Because when we find the moment at point D, the resultant of the moment must be equal to 28 when x equals 3 cm. Another example. Uniform AB hanged at A. Two vertical wall with 4 newton and 120 centimeter long, a weight of 3 newton is hung from a point on the bar 80 centimeter from the point A. And the bar is kept horizontal by string attached with one end to B and is fixed to the wall 160 centimeter above point A. Then what is the attention in the rope? Or what is the value of T? Look at in the opposite figure. A B represent the rod. The uniform bar A B its length 120 centimeter. Its weight 4 acts at midpoint of AB. Then we have AB equals 120 centimeter, also AC equals 160 centimeter. Then what is the length of BC? BC by using Pythagoras 200. BC equals 200. Also, we can find AD, which is perpendicular to BC, by using 
120 times 160 over 296. After that, what is the moment of point A? To calculate the tension, the, to calculate the tension force, we must find the moment at point A. Moment at point A must be equal zero, then negative four times 60, negative three times 80, negative three, negative T times nine six, or the length of AD must be equal zero. Then we deduce that the tension is five newton. Don't forget, my dear student, this example represents general equilibrium. We have two forces, four and three, for its weight of the bar, and three is weight at axis at a point a far say 80 centimeter from the point A, and this bar attached with tension T, the required what is the value of T by using the moment about point A, we find tension value equals five. Now we are translated to another example. Uniform rod AB, its length force meter. It attached by its end A at a hang. Fix it at vertical wall. The rod is kept in equilibrium by a force of magnitude 50 root to Newton. Then what is the weight of the rod? Remember uniform rod AB, then weight of the rod acts at midpoint C, which midpoint of AB. Multiply the weight equal 50 Newton or 100, 150 or 200. My dear sir, if we find the weight of the rod W, we can find the moment at point A. How many forces in this example? At the first weight, which act at point C, Number two, 50 root two, which represents B, D, R. If we find the distance between the point A and the force 50 root two is 50 root two sine 45. The distance between the point A, the perpendicular distance, and the force is 50 root to sine 45. Then, my dear student, by using, we have uniform rod and we have two forces. The first force represents W, Second force represent 50 root 2. Don't forget, the length of AB is 4 cm. Then, by using moment at A, we calculate W for the weight equal 100 newton. Another example. And the optical figure A, B, C, D, H, O is uniform hexagon. What is the meaning of uniform hexagon? Uniform hexagon, all sides are equal in length, all angles are equal in measure, each angle its measure, each angle its measure 112. This uniform hexagon with side lengths 40 cm, if the given forces are in equilibrium, what is the value of F3. Look at F1 in the opposite figure represent at CD, F2 represent at DH, 
F3 represent our axis at HC. Also, we have other two forces, 100 Newton acts at BC ray, 300 acts at AO ray. To calculate F3 is 53,600 Newton or 300 root 3 or 100 or 150. Look at my dear sir. What is the moment at point D? The moment at point D, we remove F1 and F2. Why? Because F1 and F2 act as at CD ray and D, uh, DHA. Then we have three forces only. 300, 100, and F3. Don't forget, the moment has two directions. The first direction, anticlockwise with positive direction. The second direction is negative with clockwise. 300 with eight, about point D with clockwise is negative, but 100 rotate around point D in anticlockwise or positive. Therefore, my dear student, the moment point, the moment at D equal negative 300 times 40 root 3 plus 100 times 40 sine 60. Why? Because the distance between 100 and point D is 40 sine 60. 40 is this distance or length of the hexagon. And the perpendicular opposite angle 60 with sine. Then the distance between 100 and the point D, 40 sine 60. Also, F3 times 20. Therefore, F3 by using calculator 2000 root 3 minus 12,000 root 3 equals 10,000 root 3 with negative divided by 2500 root 3. Another example. And the opposite figure, my dear student. What is the F2? If we find F2, we can find the moment at C. Moment at point C. Why? Moment at C, we remove F1 and F3. From the previous method, calculate F2 equals 600 Newton. Another example. If the forces are in equilibrium in the opposite figure, what is the value of F? To calculate the value of F, these forces, we can find moment at A. Moment at A must be equal zero. Moment at A, we remove X, the force which acts at X, and Y. Then we have two forces only, 20 Newton and F Newton. F in the opposite figure, inclined with 45 is horizontal, and 20 is a distance L from the point A. By using the moment, then 20 times L equals or minus F times 2L sine 45, or by other method, we, after we represent AB equals 2L, 
then the distance between the force F and the point A is 2L sine 45. Therefore, the value of F equals 10 root 2. Another example. Look at in the opposite figure. If the system is in equilibrium, what is the F1 plus F2? Look at F1, which act at DA. F2, which act is at BA. When we find F2, we must calculate the moment at point D. Why moment at D, we remove F1 and F3. Moment at D equals zero, then we reduce three forces only, four, 12, and F2. What is the moment of the at the point D by using three forces? Negative four times distance six plus F2 times the distance between F2 and D8. This is, must be equal zero. Therefore, F2 equal 3. Don't forget, my dear student, we have two only forces in when find magnitude at D. Why? Because we remove three forces, F1, F3, and 12. Why? Because 12 acts at DC. F3 acts at BD. F1 acts at DA. After that, to calculate F1, we must find the moment at point B. Why? When find the moment at point B, we remove the force F2 and F3 and 4. We have only two forces, F1 and 6. And 12. 12 acts at DC ray, F1 acts at DA ray. Then we reduce that 12 times 8 minus F1 times 6 must be equal to 0. Why F1 is negative? Because F1 is rotate about to be with clockwise. Then F1 equals 16. F1 equals 16, F2 equals 3, then the correct answer is 19, number D. Now we are translate to another example. A uniform rod, its weight for in your ten, acts at point O, raises its a smooth vertical plane with one end against a rough vertical wall, then the least horizontal force that will make the lower end of the road about to move towards the wall. Choose the correct answer, 5, 10, 20, 100, and 40. My dear student, the required least horizontal force, least horizontal force, that will make lower end of the road about to move towards the wall. Look at the road represent AB. The weight acts at point O at midpoint 40. And we have two reactions. R1, this reaction of the wall, and R2, reaction of the, which acts at the point A. Then my dear student, to calculate F1, we can find the moment at point A. Moment at A must be equal zero. Then, what is the forces which act is, which represents the moment A? Moment A equals zero. 40 times L cosine 45 minus R times 2L sine 45. By using calculator, we deduce that R1 equals 20 and R1 in equilibrium equals F. Therefore, F equals 20. Correct answer, number C.
Now we are translated to another example. In the opposite figure, the road is an equilibrium. We have two forces act as at point B, point D are equal in magnitude, and we have three forces downward, eight, 10, and six is in equilibrium. Then the moment at B must be equal zero. To calculate X centimeter, don't forget X the distance between midpoint of the rod and D. Also, the distance between B and midpoint is two equal and B, B A equal four centimeter, D H equal six centimeter as the opposite figure. Then my dear student, we calculate moment about B. Moment about B must be equal zero. What is the moment at B? Negative eight times four. Why negative? Because the force eight rotate with clockwise with point B plus 10 times two. Negative 12, negative 12 times X plus two. Before we calculate moment at B, we know that in equilibrium, two forces up equals three forces down. 2F equals what? 6 plus 16 plus 8 equals 24. Then the force equals 12. Then when find the moment at B, F represents 12. Negative 12 times X plus 2 plus 6 times X plus 8 equals 0. By expand, then we deduce that 6x equals 12, then x equals 2. The correct answer, number A. Now we are translate to another example. Look at my dear student and the opposite figure, A, B, C, D, H, O, as uniform hexagon, with side lengths 40 cm, if the given forces are in equilibrium, what is the F1? Look at the value F1, which act as CD. Then we deduce that we can find the F2 or F3 or F1. Remember, F1, F2, F3 acts in three sides of triangle in cyclic order. F1, which at CD, F2, DH, F3 at HC. Then we did use that, my dear student, to calculate F1, we must find the moment at point H. Moment at point H. Why? When find the moment at point H, we remove F2, F3. Don't forget, my dear student, the distance or length, side length equal 40 centimeter. Then when find moment at H equal zero, we have the unknown value F1. The distance between F1 and point H equals side length six sine 60 or 40 sine 60. Then we deduce that. My dear student, the moment at H equals zero, then F1 times 40 sine 60 plus 100 times 40 root three, negative 300 times 40 sine 60 must be equal zero. Therefore, we reduce that 20 root three F1 plus 4,000 root three minus 6,000 root three equals zero, then we deduce that F1 equals 100 Newton. The correct answer, number C. This example is very important. Why? Because we have three unknown forces. F1, F2, F3. If we find F2, what you do, my dear student? Yes. We find moment at C. 
Why? Because when find moment at C, we remove F1 and F3, the unknown only F2. If the required, my dear student, the force, what is the required? F2. What is the moment which we find the moment at C? Why? Because the moment at C, we remove F1 and F3. And so on. My dear student, this example, very important to calculate F1 or F2 or F3. Now we are translate to another example. My dear son, if the force are, these forces are in equilibrium, then what is the value of the force F? Equals 60 or 60 root 3 or 30 or 30 root 3. Look at my dear son. We have Two forces act at A and at B. The force which acts at A are inclined with theta with vertical line. Also, the second force F, which inclined with horizontal with 60 degrees. Then we reduce that. F sine 60 plus R cosine theta equals what? Equals 60. What is the moment at point A? Point A, the moment we have two forces only. What is the two forces? The two forces F and 60. The distance between A and D B to L. Then midpoint, which acts the force 6 Newton at L, at L centimeter from the point A by using this moment at point A equal zero. 60 times L equals F times 2L sine 60. Sine 60 equal what? Root 3 over 2. Then F equals 60 over root 3. What is the 60 over root 3? Up and down. Answer is 30 root 3. This is the force F. Look at another example. In the opposite figure, we have AB is our rest is in equilibrium horizontally. Then what is the distance X? Distance X between point C and D. In the opposite figure, we have four for 10 newton axis at A, 8 newton axis at D, 6 newton axis at B. This downward raises this the force F, which acts at C upward, its value F. To calculate the distance X, we can find the moment at point C. Moment at C is negative 10 times 4 plus 8 times x plus 6 times 2 plus x inside bracket must be equal 0. Then negative 10 times 4 equal negative 40 plus 8x plus 12 plus 6x. Therefore, we deduce that 14x equals 28, x equals 2, 
centimeter. Then X is two centimeter or the force F which acts at two centimeter from the point D. Another example. In the opposite figure, if the system coplanar forces are equilibrium, what is the BC length? Is 90, 60, 50, or 20? Look at my daily chart. Moment at B must be equal zero. To calculate the moment at B, why? Because we have two unknown F and the distance BC to find the value of F, we find the moment at C. But to calculate length of BC, find the moment at point B. Moment at B equals zero. Then 20 times BC equals 1260 plus BC. By using distribution method, 20 BC equals 720 plus 12 BC. Therefore, 8 BC equals 720. We did use that BC equals 90 centimeter. The correct answer, number A. Don't forget, my dear student, we have to unknown BC lens and F. But the required, what is the lens BC? Then we must find the moment at point B to calculate the distance BC. Another example, uniform ladder of weight 30 kilograms. Don't forget, uniform ladder. Uniform ladder means the weight acts at pit point. This is in vertical plane with one end on a rough horizontal floor and the other end against a smooth vertical wall. Don't forget, smooth vertical wall means the reaction will be particular to the wall. The ladder is inclined at 60 to horizontal. If maximum distance, I mean, of weight 60 kilogram, can ascend up the ladder is equal to half length of the ladder. Then, coefficient of friction between the ladder and the floor equals what? Root 3 over 2, root 3 over 3, root 3 over 5, root 3 over 6. My dear student, we suppose the length of ladder to angle. Vertically, look at the reaction at A must be equal 90. Why? Because in equilibrium, R for the forces up equal forces down. R A or reaction at point A equals 30 plus 60 equals 90. Also, the action in horizontally, the action at B must be equal mu S R A. Mu S R A, we know the action is 90 R A mu S. Then we did use that. My dear student, the action at A equals 90, the action at B 90 mu s. Mu s meaning coefficient of friction force. After that, 
we have two unknown in three unknown reaction at B and mu S, but reaction at A is known is 90. We must find the moment at point A. Why? To calculate the reaction at B. Moment at A must be equal to 0. 90 multiply L cosine 60 minus the action at B times 2L sine 60. What is that 2L sine 60? The distance between the action at B and moment A and the point A. This must be equal to zero. Therefore, the action at B, 15 root 3. Look at the action at B equals 90 mu S and the action at B, 15 root 3. We did use that mu S root 3 over 6. Root 3 over 6. My dear student, don't forget this example, very important. Why? Because from this example, we calculate reaction of the ladder around vertical wall, smooth, and in horizontal, RA, also mu S. What is the mu S? Static coefficient force in horizontal. Another example. AB is uniform rod. AB is uniform rod. Its length 24 and its weight 50 gram weight. Rest with end A on rough horizontal plane and its point C on smooth where BC equals 4 centimeter. The rod is kept in equilibrium when it makes angle theta with the horizontal where tan theta equals 3 quarter. Then what is the reaction of R2? Observe. Choose the correct answer is 20 or 22, 24, and 30. And the first sine theta equal opposite over adjacent. Sorry, opposite over hypotenuse. 12 over AC is 10 theta equals 3 quarter. 3, 10 theta from the given 3 quarter. Don't forget, but sine theta equals 3 over 5. And AC by using cross multiplication, 5 times 12 equals 3, over 3 equals 20. Why? Because we have from given 10 theta 3 over, over 4. F3, 10 theta 3 over 4 is a, then sine theta equals 3 over 5. But in the other figure, sine theta 12 over AC. By using cross multiplication, we calculate AC equals 20 centimeter. After that, we calculate moment at A must be equal to zero. Moment at A negative 50 times AO cosine theta plus R2 times distance between A and C is AC equals zero. We know that AC equals what? Equals 20. Therefore, we calculate 
R2 by substitution about AC equals 20, then R2 equals 24. Then the correct answer, number C. Another example. End of the figure A, B, C, D, H, O, uniform hexagon, side lengths four centimeter. If the given forces are in equilibrium, what is the F2? Is 600, 300, 300, 150. Why is the previous method to calculate F2? Why F2? We find the moment at C. Moment at C must be equal zero. Then F2 times 40 sine 60 minus 300 times 40 root 3 equals 0, then F2 equals 600. The correct answer, number A. Another example. And the opposite figure, AB is uniform rod, its weight 20 newton, rotate about hang at A. The value of F equals what? 10 or 10 root 3, 5 or 5 root 3. My dear student, look at this uniform rod. It's weight 20 newton, rotate about hang at A. We have two reactions of the hang in horizontal X and vertical Y. To calculate the force F, we must find the moment at A. Moment at A must be equal zero. For 20 times L cosine 30, distance between 20 and A is L cosine 30. Why? Because the distance we suppose AB lens, its lens to L. 20 times L cosine 30 equals F times 12. By using simplify, we calculate F is 5 root 3. Correct answer, number D. Another example. In the opposite figure, if the system is an equilibrium, what is the value F1 plus F2? To calculate F2, we find the moment at point D. Why? Because moment at D, we move F1 and F3 and 3. We have three forces only, F2 and 4. Two forces in moment at D, negative 4 times distance 3 plus F2 times 4 must be equal 0. Therefore, F2 equal 3. To calculate F1, we must find moment at point B. Moment at B is 6 times 4 minus F1 times 3 equal 0. Then we reduce that. F1 equals 8. F1 equals 8. F2 equals 3. Then summation F1 plus F2 equals 11. The correct answer number C. Another example. Four forces form two couples, which are in equilibrium. What is the value of F? Is 8, 6, 11, 10, choose the correct answer. We know that AO is AC sine 30. Why? Look at measure angle 30 with the vertical opposite figure. Two vertical opposite angles, 30, then measure angle OCA equals 30 degrees. Then AC, this distance, the distance AO between two forces 10 and 10 equals 3 centimeter from AC sine 30. AC equals 6, sine 30 equals half, 
then we did use that AO equal three centimeter. Then by using rule of Kabel, 10 times three equals F times five. My dear student, by using 30 divided five, answer is six Newton. Therefore, this is the force, F equals six Newton. After that, we translate to another example. And the opposite figure, AB is uniform rod of weight W, hang it at A, the tension in string CB equals CA. BC equals 60 Newton. What is the this tension equals 60 Newton? Then what is the value of W? Moment at A, my dear student, look at in the opposite figure, equals negative W times 20 cosine 30, minus 30 times 30 cosine 30, plus 60 times 40 sine 60 must be equal to zero. We did use that, the W equals 75 Newton. The last, last one in the opposite figure, ABC D regular hexagon, side length 10 centimeter, the system force in equilibrium. What is the value of the F? Equals three or five or eight or eight or three. My dear student, look at in the opposite figure, we find to calculate the force F, we calculate moment. What is the moment at point E3 times 10 root 3 plus F times 10 root 3 minus 10 root 3 times 10 equals 0, then the fourth F equals 5. The fourth F equals 5 Newton. My dear student, at the last, by the end of the lesson, we know that the equilibrium or general equilibrium is very important, very important unit to calculate the moment at any point by using current, by using moment, by using forces up and equal forces down. Don't forget my dear student, equilibrium this is the unit of six unit of a static. Very important unit to calculate or to calculate to find unknown forces, distance between force, other force, or the W or weight of the uh, road or rather this very important unit to study this equilibrium. My dear student, I am very happy to spend such time with you. Maakum Muhammad Abdullah bin Laban, Khabir Madat al-Yadiyan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.